Hello, this is Brio of Brio Shoot Productions. Hi, I'm Chris from Chris. And I am Lando, Master of Oreo Nation and Soon the World. And we are watching Crossing Bound 3. Brio Shoot Productions! Proudly presents. This intro was, like, very, very awesome, and it took me probably about two hours to come up with it for every single animation. Not the whole movie, though. Kind of reminded me of a Super Nintendo game. It actually um, is the music from uh, Earthbound 3, or Mother 3, not Earthbound 3, Mother 3. You know, the opening reminds me so much of Star Fox for some reason. It's probably this portion right here, it has the, like, the sa Star Fox sound to it a little bit. Mm, vending machines. I want some Doritos now. Yeah. Oh yes. You can if you can look closely you can see that's actually Doritos in there. I know, I noticed. It was just a copy of an image I got off of Google. It's just my little short quick fix there. Uh, cheater. And if you guys don't realize that that's Orlando talking right there. I didn't put his name in. But if you remember the lines from Cross Mount 2. No, I, I, I knew, I knew it was him. And this is just basically straight pulled from Crossing Bound 2. I had, like, zero work put into this. Oh yeah, I just copied it, right? Yeah, well here's where the movie actually begins. Mm. With us in the time. Oh, right. what's the Twilight theme song? So, anyone know it? Kind of like that. This is actually the teleport sound from... Uh, Earthbound. I just slowed it down. Oh. Huh, that's and if, awesome. And if you haven't guessed, this is in between the dimensions. Um, the music is Gygas's, um, The Land of Time Forgot, you know, right before Gygas. It's only played backwards and has an echo oh. to it. This scene here reminds me of an episode from SpongeBob when Squidward is time traveling and he messes up the time machine and it's all white. Yeah, totally, that reminds me. I was actually watching that episode of Spongebob when I came up with this. I was like, you know what, that's perfect. That's <laughs> perfect, I'll just do that. It's very, very creepy and like, you know, purgatory looking area. Mm, purgatory is a yummy sounding word. <laughs> hey, it's me! It's me! This is more footage pulled straight from Crossing Bound, the first one, just using a different camera angle. Um, because I have all these animations still staved. Um, if I wanted to, I could actually do a remake of the originals with different camera angles. But that would take up so much time and effort. Yeah. The first time I ever show up, I think, isn't it? Yes, this is the first time you ever show up. It's me, I'm so of cute! Course. There is no way I could believe that Orlando would kill you, Tina. So that's why I didn't believe it. And, of course, this scene, which... Uh, I'm not going to say anything about that. No comment. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, you guys already know what it is, but no comment on that. I know. Yeah, me too, I know. Oh, so apparently this is what triggers me to start going all weird psycho and open up time rifts and crap like that. My leg hurts. That was a fun scene to make, just throwing you guys, or throwing them into the time rift, just having them spin in there. It's so fun. <laughs> There's another Half-Life 2 sound. I should start playing Half-Life 2. It's been on my list of things to do, yet I haven't gotten around to it. I know, I'm lazy. I haven't even finished Bioshock yet. This uh, background music is from Fallout 3, the uh, overworld music. Kind of very post-apocalyptic type music. It's a fun game. It is a fun game. And it's very fitting for the scene. And everybody's favorite person shows up right now. Who, me? Yep. <laughs> And don't worry, you didn't kill Galaxy Guy, he's just knocked out. I don't kill anyone. That you knocked him out. Anyone. That requires too much effort. Those cars are, like, they were built in about five minutes. I kind of just used a little bit of a box type uh, shape in Swift 3D and I just put windows into it. So they're very, very basic. You can notice they don't have any axles on that one that's turned over, the uh, gray one. They don't even have doors, Brio. No, they don't even have doors, so it's very... Yeah, they don't even have doors, so and I can even see how very... crappy the wheels are made. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I'd like to see yours. 
Well, I can draw a wheel. It's just one circle. Is it like, what is that, a uh, septagon or something like that? Yeah. The original Tremula was only a collection of about five buildings in the background, and um, I didn't like that, so I just kind of copied and pasted and made a bunch more to make it look bigger. And you changed some of their sizes so it didn't look all the same? Yeah, no no cookie cutter thing. And if you look closely, you can tell uh, Galaxy Guy is kind of running really weird. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to fix that. Um, totally bad thing on my mark. It's, it's kind of hard to gauge how fast people are walking in Swift 3D. Um, because, you know, it goes a lot slower when you're actually in the Swift 3D program. Well, it doesn't matter. They're still walking, right? They're still walking as long as nobody really notices, but now everybody's going to notice because I mentioned it. Yeah. That, um... Hmm, so the funny thing is, the guy on the right of you looks like Jirachi, and the guy on the left, Adrian, he actually friended me on Facebook the other day. That is, um, Evil Jirachi on the right. Uh, Marcus, uh, funny story, he was telling me he wanted Evil Jirachi in it. And at the last minute, he says, put Marcus in there. I was like, well, isn't that Marcus? And he's like, no, the orange Mario is Marcus. So I had to add the orange Mario in the battle scene. It's just what Marcus wanted. Now, this has to be my most favorite battle scene ever, simply because of what we do. Like, the whole Marcus showing up, that was a fun thing to do. And my awesomeness was really good. I like that. Blue. <laughs> Jirachi. That, yeah, that was the first thing I noticed. Like, why is Jirachi there? It's what Marcus wanted to be, so I put it in. I like the sound effect. Boom, boom. Bam. All right. Um, when I attack Wand, look how much HP I take out. It says 400. It only goes down to 200. <laughs> I didn't fix that either. <laughs> That's sad. It's a little bit of a goof. Yeah, sorry. It's bound to happen when you're working. Some of these I've been working at like 5 a.m. and I'm half awake while we're making them. So there are going to be mistakes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Uh oh, who's going to show up? It's me! It's me! <laughs> Ow! Sorry. Why'd you hit me on my head? I had to. I had to. It's okay. Can you hear me? Chris? Is that you? As if I can't tell? Because you batted me in the back of the head. Isn't that supposed to be a triple dot? It is a triple dot. You, you're just not looking closely enough. Like, there's a sim there's a colon and then there's another triple dot. Alright, now there was supposed to be this big whole battle scene between Orlando and the animator, but at this point I realized, oh my god, there's eight minutes of movie already and I gotta wrap this up in two minutes. So I had to cut that out. Yeah, it would have been awesome if you could watch it. It would have. Maybe I'll release it later. Maybe hey, it's me! It now the, it's me again! The background music for this room is actually Sephiroth's um, theme. The, the, the pre-Sephiroth theme, but it's backwards. That's awesome. I'm surprised you don't have one-winged yeah. angel. And... Yeah. Now that background... Is from Super Mario RPG when you go fight Culex. I knew that one. God, I don't think I've ever actually beat Culex. He's pretty hard. I never I finished Super Mario RPG. Blasphemy. Another little goof here. You can see how the animator's head is kind of jerky like that. That's not intentional. For some reason, Pinnacle kept messing up the animation. <laughs> so that's why he looks like he's having a seizure. But it, it's actually a good effect, if you think about it. It is a good effect. That, that's why I kind of left it in there, because I was like, you know what, this is a mistake, but it's a good mistake. The mask was kind of oddly shaped, though. Yeah, well, that was a last minute thing, too. And look, I'm the animator. For us to move on. Wow. Oh, it's done! Guess and that's it, here's the credits! Hmm. Hey, there's Brio, Juan, Olga, Lore, Galaxy, Galaxy Guy, Guy, Adrian, what? Marcus, the true Marcus, Orlando. It's a me, Orlando. It's a me, Orlando. Hey, how come I'm last? I don't know, it's just the order it was in. Well, that's it, folks. That's Crossing Bound 3. I hope you enjoyed our commentary. I like pie. <laughs> I like pie, too. Pie. Pie. Okay, it's done! Yeah. Ah, or is it?